Welcome to Genuine Coral guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the parallel transition in order to combine all these transition into one single transition. I mean, we have used this dot play function of these three different translation in order to combine these transi transition, which is not a good idea. So using the parallel transition class, we can control all, all these transition using a single object so in our java fx dot animation class we have a parallel transition class so this is a parallel transition and all that we have to do is we have to remove this transition dot play and then i am going to create a parallel transition parallel transition is equal to new parallel transition and in this transition i can pass the animation or the nodes and animation on which I want to apply the animation so in our case we are already connected this translation transition to the nodes so there is no need of passing node instead we can go for uh, the animation so the first animation is nothing but the transition and I have transition 1 which is the scale transition and I have the transition 2 called this one so that's it transition 2 and the parallel transition dot contains this much functions and you can add the components later by using the dot get children dot add method to add the uh, add another transition during uh, after the initialization or creation of the object so that's it parallel transition dot play let's run the code so let's run the program so that's it the three animations are executing parallelly and you can change the suppose if you want to make this one uh, then you can set this to duration or second one in order to make that faster and also you can control the cycle of all this transition using this one trans parallel transition object so parallel transition dot set auto reverse property and i'm going to set that true and i am going to set the parallel transition dot cycle count set cycle count to three so it will undergo three cycles so let's run the program so in the first step it is going here i have set the round animation to three seconds so that's working fine then going back here and that's it so that was three steps right this is this was the first one second and three so parallel transition is really useful when you have a number of transitions and just like before you can add a set on finish listener in order to execute some code after the completion of all the animations in the parallel transition class so this is nothing but e and i'm gonna print system dot okay so now let's run the program so it's running that was in completion that was the first cycle second cycle and this is the third cycle and i have got the completed message so that's it guys that's how you use multiple transition uh, how you use the parallel transition to combine multiple transitions and hope that help you uh, like the video if you like it subscribe for more cool videos thank you